guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple looping animation inside of adobe after effects so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call this as main animation circle. Now, as you can see, weight is 220 and height is 180, frame rate 30, and duration I'm going to choose 30 seconds. And background color is black and simply hit OK. Choose grid and guide option and hit title effects. And now select this ellipse and we don't want stroke at least for now all we need is fill and fill color is white by holding shift create one ellipse then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this shape go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it down press v for selection tool and by holding shift i'll move this ellipse over here then press p for position create one keyframe go to around three i mean four seconds and by holding shift i'll move this ellipse over here go to the start and press s create one keyframe go to around one second again create another keyframe go to the starts and let's make it zero now hit u and go to around three seconds select the scale keyframes hit ctrl c and then press ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes and move these things over here select both the keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select the shape layer hit ctrl d press u and in the search bar i'll oops, select the shape layer and we will delete this fill and we will use stroke over here and now select the scaling keyframes and scale it a little bit until we can see the stroke and initially the stroke width should be i mean scale should be zero and at the final scale should be zero so we'll get this kind of animation now select the scaling keyframe and let's move this over here and let's move this over here so we will get a little bit alternations in the scaling animation of the stroke now press ctrl n and create a main animation comp and for this one width is 1920 and frame rate 30 duration is 30 and hit ok now go to the main circle animation comp alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it hit select this expression hit ctrl a to select it hit ctrl c to copy alt click on the stopwatch hit ctrl v so it will apply all this expression to all those keyframes go to the main animation and import our main animation circle comp from here press s and let's make it 40 hit play as you can see we'll get this kind of animation press y for a pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll snap this anchor point over here and go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically make sure and let's move this over here by holding shift zoom in a little bit like that so we'll get this kind of stuff now press r for rotation alt click on the stopwatch type this expression open in square bracket type rotation over there open bracket close bracket zero forward hit plus and let's make it 40 or let's say 30 maybe on star index and let's see as you can see this is rotated on 30 degree hit ctrl d until we will get the whole circle like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call this as circle sorry hit ctrl k to open the project settings type this circle and hit ok like that now select all of them go to around something over here alt close bracket right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok 
and zoom out and increase this duration up to 30 seconds so we will get something like this now go to the main animation circle hit ctrl d press s scale it like that press r and rotate it like that now select this circle again hit ctrl d bring it at the top press s and scale it like that press r a little bit to get it like this press s scale it again press r and rotate it a little bit now go to around 10 or 15 frames select this second circle comp move this over here go to one second select this third one move this over here hit ctrl a to select all of them alt open bracket go to the start and move them over here like that so as you can see we get something like this now our if you see in main animation comp our final keyframe is at 4 seconds to so go to the main animation and go to around 4 seconds select all of them alt open bracket to trim this go to the start and move this over here and go to around 4 seconds and let's play press n like that so if you see now we will get something like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation continuously and if you want to change the circle animation go simply go to the main animation hit u select this circle go over here and you can in decrease the scale of the circle let's make it 60 go over here let's make this 60 also so if you see now we will get this kind of animation now select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call this as final circle and hit ok press f4 convert this into 3d press r and you can rotate it but all you need to do go inside it or as you can see that it's getting a little bit heavier so i'll choose quarter resolution and let's rotate it like that now click on this option go inside it select all of them convert them into 3d now go to the main animation comp as you can see we did something like this again go inside this hit ctrl a click on this option go inside this press f4 convert them into 3d and click on this option now if you go to the main animation and if you see we'll get something like this again we'll go to this this and this and press f4 select all of them and convert this into 3d so now all the things are in 3d now select this circle and as you can see then we can adjust the 3d space of this one press s for scaling so we'll get this continuous animation in the form of loop choose full resolution press r so you can manipulate the height width i mean the rotation from each direction right click new and create camera and hit ok and in renderer i'm going to choose my classic 3d and hit ok select this camera hit double a and animal depth of field I'm going to decrease, increase the aperture to 200 like that and let's increase the focus distance like that now go to the top view and you can adjust the focus distance according to you Then increase the blur levels like that so it will get a blurry look at the edge so we will get this continuous animation throughout our timeline so if you hit play as you can see we are getting this 3d look also and we will get continuous looping animation make sure that whatever you have in your compositions are in a 3d and this uh, option is enabled so then only you can get this results 
So yep, that's it for the today's week video. We will see you in the next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.